everybody. Welcome to Quest for Glory. Three. Wages of War. Yeah. I am the Blues32 and I am all, I am excited. Let's begin. Import character. Please insert your saved character disc from Quest for Glory 1 so you want to be a hero. Or Quest for Glory 2, Trial by Fire, into the disc drive so your hero can make the journey to Quest for Glory 3. Or I could just go through my computer's files. A lot of files. Ah, here it is. Import. Your character has been successfully imported. Welcome to Tarna. You have a choice. In Quest for Glory 2, you became a paladin. Do you want to be a paladin in this game, or stay a wizard? It's very disturbing that the 
the body of Adavis could not be found. Even with all my magic, I cannot determine who or what removed the body or what became of it afterwards. I believe the unbinding of Adavis' power could well have other, darker results. Now we are again in my house in Shapir, Nero. You have become the Prince of Shapir by order of the Sultan Harun al-Rashid. Rakish now desires to return to his home in Tarna. Last night, I received this message from the sorceress Karisha in Tarna. Please tell Rakish that he must return quickly to Tarna. There is serious talk of war here, and I can and I think only Rakesh can now bring peace. I believe this is more than more to this tribe than just water to than just two angry tribes. I believe that a demon has again broken through to this land and seeks to destroy us all. Destroy us all! In three days, a magical portal will open in Shapir to take Rakesh back to Tarn. I suggest that if you, Prince of Shapir, wish to truly be a hero, you accompany Rakesh. probable that it was released into this world by the death of Adavis. We must stop it and send it back to its own world. Sure. Makes sense to me. Bows the Sultan of Shapir three days later. It grieves me. It greatly grieves me to say farewell to such fine friends and honored guests. You were a great aid to me, and I sorrow to see you return to Tarna. You were a great sultan. It been an honor to serve you. Aurora, warrior of the Simbani, you have been a most excellent guildmaster for the Adventurers Guild, and a gifted instructor of combat. Thank you for your services to Shapir. I leave Shapir with a great treasure, my son Simba. I never forget this place, but it will be good to go home again. My son, it breaks my heart to see you leave. You will always have a home here in Shapir. I send you with a, a special gift. I give you a magic shield which will protect you from ma magical attacks. May you never need to use it. Yeah, good luck with that. Hugs. Thanks, Dad. Even though I already have one. I'm pretty sure I'm not an orphan. Sultan, the magical portal appears to Tatarna appears. Farewell, all of you. May you find the peace you seek. What happened to speaking in rhyme? Ah, Tarna. Look at the size of this place, huh? I have no idea how to fix this problem. It is good to see you again, Karisha. It is good to be with you again, Rakish. Karisha, you have met Aura of the Simbani before. This is her son, Simba. Habari warrior, it is good to see you again, Aura. That son of yours looks like a strong and healthy young cub. Missouri, Karish. Thank you for helping me to return to Simba and I need to get back to my people. Kiwahirani. Kiwahiri. Warrior. Farewell, Ahara. Yeah, this is going to be a lot of mispronunciations. I have given my sword, Karish. He has the tr makings of a true paladin. A paladin? It is a very great honor indeed for you to come here. Your skills may be useful in preventing war here. I can sense that you are also skilled with magic. Know, however, that the usage of magic is forbidden upon the streets of Tarna in order to protect those without magic. Trisha is a female... is a wise-looking female lion tar. She wears the headdress of a master magician. Your friend Rikishi is a powerful-looking lion tar, but he walks with a limp because of his injured leg. Such excitement. As you can see,
You see, there is a skill level thing here. I'm not sure what that does exactly. I'm not going to mess around with it. But I won't lower it. Have you guessed what my real name is yet? Wow, this is taking way longer than it should. I'm a little concerned. Now, in this game, if you click here, you can now greet and talk and all that stuff. In the first game, when you click the mouth icon on yourself, you would say, Mumble, mumble, overworked. Mumble, mumble, underpaid. Mumble, mumble, no control over my life. Yeah, I got that memorized. You greet, Krish. Krish. Oh, God, there's going to be so much mispronunciation. You will always be welcome in our house, young hero. Let us tell of Shapir. Talk about your experiences in Shapir and how you defeated Adavis. The Enchantress Azia spoke to me of Adavis. You must indeed be a hero to defeat such a wicked wizard. Tarn. Welcome to our land of Prince of Shapir. Tarna is an ancient city and you will find much to do here. Okay, I'm gonna have to read all of these. We Lion Tars are a proud race, sometimes too proud for our own good. Most lion tars live in the eastern section of the city, away from the humans. I have chosen to live in the western section with the humans. They are as much a part of Tarna as our people. That's nice. I am a worker of spells specializing in teleportation and communication. The magical portal which brought you here is an example of my magic. The magical portal allows people to travel across distances. It is a difficult spell to create, for it takes an incredible amount of magic and can only be done through a ritual. Ritual. A ritual is a series of actions and events used as magical spells. Most of my magic is done through a ritual, ritual as is much magic in this region of the world. Well, good to know. Let's ask about this war. The leader of the Simbani came to Tarna to ask us to ally with the Simbani against the Leopard Men. The Council of Judgment decided to investigate this talk of war. It's most unusual for the Council of Judgment to become involved with the affairs of humans. The Council of Judgment decided to send a peace mission into the jungle to speak with the Leopard Men. It was ambushed one night and only one human survived to speak of it. Rikish, Rikish uh, was the leader of the peace, peace mission. Is she dead then? I do not know. My magic tells me nothing. I do not think so, but that may only be the wishes of a mother's heart rather than true knowledge. Forgive our rudeness, my friend. Rikishaka is our daughter. Krisha, let us speak more of this later. Well, that's no good. Akish is my life mate and my friend. He is also highly respected by the Council of Judgment and Raji and Raja, the King of Tarna, and Rikisha's brother. The Council of Judgment make the laws of Tarna. I am a member of the Council. The, the Council will decide whether Tarna will go to war or not. Raja is the current leader of Tarna. He is somewhat hot-headed and is loud in his demands that de the Council of Judgment declare war. I is very like him. Raja always treated life as a battle to be fought rather than an adventure to be experienced. My voices suck, don't they? I'm very sorry, folks. This land, <coughs> the city and the land around it is Tarna. It is ruled by my people, the Lion Tars. I hope that you can have the chance to appreciate the beauty of this place. We will see Ahura and Simba again in a few days, for we will journey together to talk to her village to and to talk with her and her people and blah 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 I am sorry, folks. It's somewhat late for me. I, I, I don't stay up much. Simbani Village is about a day's journey from here. All I know of the Leopard Men is that they are a tribe of shape changers who dwell in the jungle. This is true. The shape changers are humans who take on certain aspects of an animal through magic. I can't imagine what ones they turn into. The jungle lies several days to the east of Tarna. 
I will spend the next couple of days finding out more information about this war. We can speak more about this later. Yes, we can. The Lyantars have ruled Tarna for as long as we have existed. Most Lyantars have little to do with humans, although that is changing. This talk of war is in some ways a good sign, for it means that the Lyantars begin to accept that Sibani are our allies and friends. Rakesh, you have been away a long time. There are several members of the Council of Judgment who also respect humans. There are also those who call for war for war's sake. The Council of Judgment is made up of the wisest of our people. Grisha is, of course, the magical member of the Council. That is because I am one of the few Lantars who has studied magic. It is because you are both magical and wise, my love. Aww. You may benefit from the experience. When Lantars are forced to treat humans with respect, then Lantars will learn to respect humans. That's nice. Although the Simbani tribe have supplied Tarna with meat for many decades, there are those Lantars who forget that Tarna depends upon the Simbani for food. Without the Simbani, there may well be no Tarna. Oh, I've already looked at that. Didn't I? Well, time to begin our adventure! Farewell, Prince of Shapir. We will see you later, my friend. Yeah, he looks a little silly when he walks like that. I have reserved an inn in your name at nearby inn. I can see you are eager to explore our city. Farewell, Prince of Shapir. Farewell, my friend. In two days I will stand before the Council of Judgment and speak of peace. I would like you to be there as well, then we can journey together to the Simbani village. In the meantime, explore and enjoy Tarna. If you have any questions, you will find us here. Enter freely and you will always enter freely. You will be welcome at any time. Well, almost any time, after all. Rikishi, it's and I need to spend some time to, uh, speak with one another after such a long time apart. Good day. Eh? 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 Nudge, nudge. Wink, wink. You know what I mean? Oh, where to begin? Guess I'll go talk to the money changer. So, you know, so I can buy stuff. Recognize these people? I bet you don't. Yet. Another moose. You see a genuine imitation paper mache moose head, courtesy of the recycled prop department of Sierra Online. I see that you are in need of a new weapon. I have one just right for you. Here is the finest of daggers. It too is made of Damascus steel. It too is sharper than a serpent's tooth. It is small enough to be concealed up your sleeve to be ready when your foe least expects it. I have without a doubt the best weapons for sale in all of Tarna. If you will be needing a weapon, I am the man you should see. Come, take a look and buy what you like. Well, I can't because I only have dinars in commons right now or whatever they're called. Just 200 dinar. This simple money pouch contains all the money you have with you. What's this? Note from Shima. The outside of this note reads, To Shela, in Shima's f flowing calligraphy. Before you left Shapir, Shima asked you to give this to the Kata and Tarna. Sapphire pin. This is, you only have this if you import. This precious sapphire pin was a gift from the Shapir, from the grateful, from the grateful Kata in Shapir. God, I am doing terrible. Rations, you have twenty. While not exactly your choice for a gourmet meal, these spim, special portion instant meal, rations do last a long time and will keep you from starving to death. There is a bit of a cheat in regards to, uh... Did I suck around already? in regards to uh, getting food around here, and I will show you what it is. I am not liking how long this is taking. It's got me worried.
you enter the you enter the north end of the bazaar and witness a dispute. What are you doing? That is not right. Stop him! Thief! Thief! Don't you talk to me, fruit man. Sometimes they'll talk to you and then right in the middle of that when you're supposed to be chasing somebody down. Please accompany us to the Hall of Judgment. Sure. You are led by the guard to the Hall of Judgment to attend the judgment of the thief. The Council of Judgment has determined that you, Harima, have broken the laws of Tarna by taking things belonging to others. You have shown yourself to be without honor. Do you have anything wish to say before you are named honorless. Eh, big deal. Then by the judgment of, of the council and the laws of Tarna, you, Harima, are now formally named honorless. So you have acted, so you shall be. The honorless one must leave the hall. That may sound silly to some of you, but apparently, if you don't have honor around, the council of judgment now summons the Prince of Shapir. If you don't have honor around here, you don't exist. The Prince of Shapir aided my guards in the capture of the honorless one. See, they don't even talk, say his name anymore. The Council of Judgment commends the Prince of Shapir's actions on behalf of Tarna and thanks him. King Rajia orders Rakish and the Prince of Shapir to meet with him in his chambers immediately. Oh, good. You may enter into the presence of Rajiv Satana. Rajiv Satana, I stand before you. Rajiv Satana, you stand before me in honor. Not crap, I didn't mean to do that. You tell the king that you are honored to be in his presence. Prince of Shapir, Prince of Shapir you stand before me in honor. Rajiv, you brought along this Prince of Shapir to help you bring peace. How can a human do he is such a service to a lion talk? So, human, you have imitated Rikish and become a paladin. Why did you follow him? Don't you think Rikish is enough of a paladin to handle the situation? You answer Rajay's question. So this Prince Shapir has come to bring peace and harmony to time. You grow too old, Rikish, if you must depend upon a human for help. Your age has made you cowardly and taken away your honor. Whoa, 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 whoa. Defend Rikish's bravery and honor. You need a human to speak up for you now, Rikish? I do not need to defend myself to you of all people, Raja. Damn it! I gotta stop doing that. The truth of what happened to Rikish has not been determined. When I know for certain about Rikish, I will deal with the matter myself. I do not need all of Tarna to suffer the horrors of war for my daughter. Revenge for the sake of revenge is pointless. Mindless revenge is pure stupidity. Harshness. Damn it! Human, do you have anything important to add to this conversation? I am really sorry about, keep, about that. I keep clicking... I, I am very sorry. You speak of Rikish, how Rikish helped you in Shapir. You are fortunate, Rikish, to have such a defender of your honor. He's saying this because I have high communication skills. Otherwise, I think he just would make fun of me. Human, you may now leave our presence. You may leave our presence now. I wish to speak to Rakesh. Miss, I wish to speak further to Rakesh. You tell Jaff farewell. And that he's an arse. <laughs> <laughs>